and I'm back. I decided to switch up the scenery and sit outside, but I'm a baby and I'm live, right? Oh yeah, I'm live. I'm live. Maddie, I'm live on the right account, right? You got this, girl. <laughs> Okay, I'm back um, with my Station 19 blanket, staying warm and cuddly outside. I'm going to go live with another special guest. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Okay, one second. No, we don't want to find the account. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna find it. We're gonna find. Where's. I swear, I will bring him on any second now. There he is. I think it should just go. Hello. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Look what I'm wearing. Yes, you're wearing the Station 19 shirt. Oh my god, I got so excited when when I saw that I received one of these. I was like, this is great. Do you by chance have your... Oh my gosh, I don't have them on, but I have something else. Hold on, let me see if I can... I want to see. Let me see if I can I love show that I it. Just my leg up in the... Can you see it? No, what am I looking at? Oh, oh. yes! The yeah. Little stress, the little stress hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that for the raffle, that's what everyone's getting, is the shirt, the hydrant, sunglasses, and socks. Oh my gosh, did I, I didn't just spoil that, did I? No, you didn't, you didn't. Okay, I posted good. a picture about it. At first it was just the raffle, but then I was like, I gotta let them know what they're winning. Oh my god, and if you win, you can be just like me and Danielle with our swag. <laughs> <laughs> so much swag, I love it. Um, first of all, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. It's I know, it's been forever. It's, it's been a while. Even, it has the been a while. even the moment that I came on Station 19 this season, I didn't see anybody because I was on an iPad. It felt like this. And that's usually, I mean, this season in general, even if you're on set, you're like completely quarantined from each other unless you actually have lines together. Yeah, totally. So it's an, are you, you guys are done at Grace. You guys are done done. Oh yeah, we're done. We're on break. That's why Amazing. I've like started growing my mustache. I'm like, it's, it's break time. Do you do that during the hiatus? You do the full, like, growing as much as I, you can? I did it all last summer, and I was like, maybe this is just going to be my, like, summer thing. As long as I'm Levi, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a mustache in the, on my breaks. <laughs> I always think about that for men, though. It must be so such a pain in the butt to have to shave every day. I know. I'm actually so glad that Levi isn't, like, completely shaven, because that would yeah. be a big bummer. How often do you have to trim the one you have on the show? I do it every other day. Okay. Yeah, so I have like a special a lot, um, razor with like a when before COVID we would have these like the the caps on the razor and I had one that had like my name on it, which yeah. was like the Levi length beard and now I have one at home. But <laughs> that's when you know you stepped up in the world. You're like, I have my own razor now. <laughs> exactly. I don't have to share. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Um, thanks for coming live with me. Are yes. you excited for tonight's episode? Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I it's mean, a, yeah. It's a big one for Grays too, because it's, it's That's what uh, I meant. Jesse's last episode. And how was that for you? Like, was it emotional? For I mean, I'm sure for the entire cast, but was that a weird, it was emotional, like, kind of and moment? it was also like we didn't know it was coming, just like the fans. So like, we read it in the script, and we were all like, "Wait, is he leaving?" And then they told us, so. <laughs> did you feel that, did that happen also with DeLuca? Was it the same situation? Oh my God, DeLuca, we had no idea either. And I think the script that we even read was like a dummy script. Like it was, it was fake. So that we, we didn't even know that the ending was really the ending until we started filming the funeral with you guys. Like until we got that script. Once we got the funeral script, we were like, oh yeah, he, he died. <laughs> that sucks. Well, I feel like we were kind of in the dark a little bit like it too. Like we knew at the end of our episode that he went to the hospital, but then he was, then when I went and shot Grays, they're like, but he's recovering. And then yes. we had the, then we got that scene where it was like, no, they come back and like, he crashed. Totally. And I, mean, I even was, like, he, Krista, she's good at keeping these secrets from all the fans oh, and even from us. I'm like, this is great. It makes me well, wasn't able it, to like be a fan of the show too. Cause I don't know what's going on. Yeah, uh, that's what I was doing earlier. I went live with Francia Raisa. She's on Gronish as well. I'm, I'm not sure if you know her also, 
but she's a huge, huge fan of Grey's and Station 19. And same with her, like, to follow along and not have the spoilers. And I always tell her, I'm like, I'm not telling you anything. I'm not spoiling it for you. <laughs> but a lot of times we don't even know what's going to happen until the last second. Truly, truly. Um, so anyways, I'm very excited to see the episode of, of Grey's Anatomy tonight. And it was directed by Kevin McKidd. So I think yes. that's always exciting. We love um, He's posting a ton on the, on the Grey's Instagram right now. I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely not keeping up with Kevin today. He's got all the throwbacks and flashbacks. And I was like, damn. I mean, he does have like 10 years on you on this show, particularly. So he's probably got the photo rolled out to If back only up. I could dream of being on for 10 years. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Watch. Think... Flash forward 10 years. We'll both still be here. Just a little bit. I, was, I said like a joke earlier and I was getting a bunch of texts about it after because I was like, yeah, well, because uh, Francie was like, I hope that um, she named two characters. I won't give away any spoilers because I guess in other countries, a lot of these, I'm getting comments that a lot of this stuff hasn't even happened. So sorry if I spoiled anything for anyone. Yeah. But like she was hoping that two characters got back together. And I was like, well, maybe in season 22. <laughs> and I was yeah. on Grey's and my, somebody texted me and they're like, 22? 22? <laughs> it's somebody who works on our show. And I was like, it hey, might I'm happen. There. They're like, it might. I'm down. I mean, me too. I'm with, I'm like season 22. Here we come. I was like station 19 at least has to have 19 seasons, right? Yes. Yes. Um, would you be down to do a little, like, would you rather game with me? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to surprise you with some questions. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait, I'll do, oh no, I'll do trivia questions with you. Do you think you can answer station 19 and Gray's trivia questions? Ho, ho. That's going to be, a, we'll, we'll see. I remember we played this game like a couple of years ago and I was, I like failed. Okay. I, I'll, I'll start with two. And if you don't do well, we'll move okay. on. I have been rewatching Grey's for a second time all the way through. And, and I'm on season 11 now of Grey's. So I feel like I'll actually be really good at like even the old school Grey's trivia. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. First question then we'll do about... Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Did you make these up? Or do, are you, like... Is I it, made like, these. I found them thing? online. Maddie helped. Maddie okay. was, like, found them online and compiled, like, a list of, like, all the ones. And I'm just going through and picking some. Okay, cool. I'm trying to find one that's not... Okay. What do Jackson and April name their first child? A, oh. Harriet. B, okay. Solomon. C, Haley, or D, Samuel? Samuel. Yes, that was right. <laughs> I was like, I know it's not Harriet because we still have Harriet. And it was that like tragic storyline of them losing their first kid. And it was so sad. And I remember it being a boy. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, Samuel. I love that. Okay. You did it. That was, you're obviously a good te test taker because you were doing like process of elimination. Like, <laughs> I know. That one. Because when you first said it, the only thing I knew was not Harriet, not Harriet. And then when you <laughs> said the, the multiple choice, I was like, yes, I got this. Perfect. Um, okay, now I'm going to do one about Station 19, which okay. you might not know. Okay. I'm going to try to find... Oh, you know what, though? There's one that kind of does like a... Huh. Which actor also played a firefighter? So which actor of Station 19 also played a firefighter in an episode of Friends? Was it A, Boris Kojo, B, Miguel Sandoval, C, J. Hayden, or D, Jason Winston George? Okay. This is also difficult because you're going to hate me, but I, I, I've never watched Friends. But Neither have I. I'm, I'm not going to hate you. Either... Um, uh, Boris or Pruitt, and I'm gonna say Miguel. I wish it was Miguel because I want to see Miguel. It was actually Jason Winston George. No freaking way! Yes, yes. But I have to say, I think um, both Miguel and Boris did play firefighters in other projects. But Jason was actually a firefighter in an episode of Friends. Oh my god, that's wild! Now I got to go watch that. He has, like, a picture on his phone. Next time you see him, too, you can always ask him for it. He's like, can you believe it? He, oh like, is, God. like, a sexy firefighter on Friends. Wow. Jason's just been acting forever. What a He what has, a and he doesn't age. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's also why I thought it, too. I was like, no way is Jason old enough to act in on Friends. Which is, like, the best compliment. I'm going to text Jason later and be like, so, 
none of us think we're, you're old enough to be young and friends. So. <laughs> There's actually an episode of Grey's where everyone is trying to guess how old um, Jason's character is, and no one can guess. People are like, he's either like 22 or 45. <laughs> Does like and it's on the ABC show. know? Does like Sean? Do the writers know how old Jason George is? <laughs> I don't know. Like he's gonna live on forever. Um. Okay. Here's another Grey's Anatomy question. Ready? Okay. What did Derek always say before starting an operation? Oh, a? it's a beautiful day to save lives. Yes. And in fact, oh my God. I've been, you're gonna show so I know what you're about to show. I've been sunbathing. <laughs> Let me go outside. Literally. With the towel. It's a beautiful day. To, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, with my towel. I'm like just like covered in swag. You got, I gotta tell you. I do this, like everything I own is now swag. It's like every bag, every jacket, every hat, every blanket, now the towel. I'm like, we have so much stuff. Yeah. I love that you're sunbathing in your backyard with that towel, though. I feel like that needs to be a picture. It's like all I do. I'm also, so, I can't sunbathe. Notice how I didn't need the multiple choice on that one? You didn't even need it. You <laughs> had it. Um, okay, I'll try the hard ones. I think then that must be Station 19. Okay. Oh, here you go. Where do Maya Bishop and Karina DeLuca meet for the first time? A, oh. Graceland Memorial Hospital. B, Station 19. D, Seattle Grace Mercy West Hospital, or D, Joe's Bar? I feel like it was when you brought a toe or something into the hospital. Now, I what? brought that into the hospital, but did we meet? You, you, you did not meet right in that moment. I remember because I remember, I feel like I was there in that scene, maybe. And it was like a you established the scene and then it went somewhere else. Yeah, I so, came in and ran in okay, and it gave wasn't JC Mercy, a note. It's not Mercy West. I don't think it's Joe's, unless it happened on Station 19. It happened on Station 19. Then I'm gonna say Joe's. It's Joe's. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I, I was like, it can't be the toe. It can't be the toe. I love that you say it's a toe when it was a nose. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> they look the same when they're not on a body. You what? I said they look the same when they're not on a body. Is that true? Is that from your doctor's expertise? Are they identical now? Levi has so many toes on someone's face. <laughs> For sure. It'd be an interesting look. Um, yeah, that was that was a. I get the meat part because you're right. When I brought in the nose, is when like she catches me. Like you, they do a shot of her looking at me. Yeah. But I don't meet her, and she comes to the bar later that night. But on that's Station when 19. she fell in love. So I guess so. So that's <laughs> the moment that she fell in love. I'm gonna ask her that. Um, okay, back to Grace. Okay. This is fun. I feel like you're gonna know all these up for Grace. How did Arizona Robin lose her leg? Oh, in a plane crash. Actually, well, technically she lost a leg because um, Alex Krebs cut it off. On accident? No, Alex Krebs cut it off, like amputated it. Yeah, because he had to, I'm assuming, because of the plane yes. crash? Okay, and she okay. blamed Callie, but Callie made the call and Alex did it, right? I think. I love this. You <laughs> and Francie might be like the best. Like, I didn't know you knew so much. Oh, my God. I'm like a huge Grey's fan. I love this. Okay, I'm just going to. Okay, I feel like Station 19 are the hard ones on this, though. Um, what kind of restaurant does do Victoria Hughes' parents own? So, Barrett on our show, Vic. What restaurant do their parents own? A, Polish food pierogies. B, Chinese food hot stickers. D, Italian food pizza, or D, Japanese food sushi? I have no idea. I, I don't even know. That one. If I took, if I narrowed it down to Polish food or Italian food, what would you pick? I would do Polish. That would be correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her, her parents have a, like a, um, a pierogies restaurant that I'm surprised uh, Gray's characters don't go to yet because it's like an established like restaurant in Seattle now. Oh, my God. We should definitely go to that then. I feel like we might have to it pitch that. It should be the new season. Joe's Bar next season. There you go. I mean, we have it. We built a set. We might as well. Um, 
back to Gray's. I'm glad you like this. Oh my god, it's so fun. I did a, a like a, a a podcast or something. Yeah. And the 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 guy the one of the women who was on the podcast, her wife was obsessed with Grays. So they called the wife and we did a competition like this where we were answering Gray's questions. But one. the Gray's questions for her were like were like what is the scientific name for like X, Y, and Z disease? And then for me, it was like, what color are the lab coats that the doctors wear? And I was like, I kind of wish I would have more questions like this, like the ones that you're saying. <laughs> I wonder if they rigged it a little. Oh, totally. She was so pissed. It was like a prank on her. She's like, that's not fair. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're going to know all these, but who was the audience at Alex Karev and Joe Wilson's wedding in 2014? Oh, I was in that wedding, and it was uh, Meredith. Yep. <laughs> on the boat. I feel like you're just going to know all of these. I got I very seasick on that boat, and there's a picture. Wait. I got very seasick on that boat, and there's a picture in my photo roll somewhere of me, like, curled up on the couch in my suit, just, like, ready to vomit. <laughs> it was so, like, because we were on that boat all day long. Do you normally get motion sickness? Is that, like, common? I guess so, but I think it was the fact that it was, like, this huge boat, and we were in holding, like, underneath, sort of, like, like not out on the deck, and yeah. I think that, that's what got me. Like, I, I don't, I never have motion sickness, but I know a lot of people that once you get on a boat, it's not good, and there's nothing you can do once you start getting sick. Yeah, exactly. That's a fun sh scene to shoot. You're like, I'm trying to see on the show that, because was that your... Was that your first season on right no. Yeah, that was the finale of my first season, yeah. So you're like, I'm trying to enjoy it, and I, I, <laughs> and I was like, no, nope, I'm doubled over on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun when that happens. Okay, yeah. Station 19 question. What is the one thing that the entire Station 19 family loves? A, cleaning the truck, B, running drills, C, working the front desk, or D, folding? I was in the middle, immediately going to say going to break room 86. <laughs> What is break room 86? <laughs> it was that, that bar we all went to after the rap party one year. I remember after I said it out loud. I oh. immediately, I feel like whenever you talk about you guys, I just immediately think of you guys, not like the, the characters. But okay, no, it's sometimes so, hard to differentiate. But yes, yeah. so I feel like break room, we did have fun, and all of us were at break room 86. That was a yeah. fun night. Wait, what? Okay, wait, say them again. Uh, either cleaning the truck, running drills, working the front desk, or pull days. Pull days. Perfect. So you knew that one. Oh, yeah. Okay, and this is the last Grey's Anatomy one that I have. Okay. But you're going to know. You know all of these. Okay. Who saved Meredith when she was drowning in season three? Christina Yang, Mark Sloan, Miranda Bailey. Shepard. Well, Derek Shepard pulls her out of the water, but I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say him if that's what you okay. mean by say, sir. Right? That's what I have as my answer. I'm like, okay. I don't know the yeah. scene, so I'm like, I'm your best guesses. I'm actually gonna ask you one other question because I know it was a tough one. Um, I erased it. What were the? Oh. The... Yeah, well, no, no, not that. The actual ones, that, the one that Francia couldn't get. Oh, uh, like. Remember what the four were? Okay, I think I have it off of my head. Okay. What was the original name of Grey's Anatomy? Oh, I know this. What? I know this. Seattle Grace, Seattle Heart. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the show. Sorry, the name no, of the, the show. No, the show. Yeah, no, I am talking about the show. Oh, Complications. Yeah. Yeah. That was, like, when she got stumped on, so I was, like... <laughs> well, that one, I feel like you just, like, have to know. Like, there's no way by watching it you would ever know. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Even if he knows the acronym, the, 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 the word that the first initials of all the original names. Do you know there's, like, the secret... Do you know the acronym that oh, is yeah. formed by the first initial of all the original names? Oh, yeah. You got Meredith is M, and it spells out magic. Yeah. <laughs> He knows everything. You are, I think, more of a diehard fan than Francia, and I didn't I, know that was possible. I love, I love the show. <laughs> I love this so much. I feel like as I've been watching it, I've been trying to come up with, like, really hard trivia, because sometimes on my lives, I'll do, like, hard gray trivia, great yeah. trivia, and whoever gets it, I'll go, like, live with. Mm -hmm. So, like, as I've been watching, there have been some things where I'm like, ooh, that's, like, a, like, a, 
you'd have to really know the show to know that one. You know what I mean? So I I'll like, I'll like to keep coming up with some. I, I should have, I should have known and should have been a really hard question because you knew every single one of those. Um, oh, okay. Well, like, like, do you know the role that Miguel played on Grey's Anatomy? Oh, not I, being Pruitt. I know this one. Can I, can I talk can with Maddie? <laughs> can I phone uh -huh. a friend? Yeah. He played, he played the husband of a woman who came in for a, like a liver transplant or something. But it was a man. Oh, it was a man? Yes. Oh, I yes. Know. I love that. Yeah. Wait, I had no idea. I He was a whole different character on Like an entirely different character. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's happened so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like um, Anthony Hill? Anthony. Yeah. Played on our episode, played one of the victims on the train yeah. in our show. Yeah, and now show. he's on Grey's. Yeah. And I actually thought it was the same character. I thought he had come on to that show and then he was going to be the same character that then became a doctor on the show. Uh -huh. or no. And then he's like, no, it's a completely different character when I saw him for the, the episode I did of Grey's. Wild. Crazy. It's crazy yeah. that they can keep doing that, but of course they have to. When a show goes 17 seasons, you're kind of, uh, you're kind of bound by the fact that actors are going to repeat themselves. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some overlap for sure. Yeah. This was so much fun. I know. I like this game. <laughs> um, those are all the questions I have for you. I'm obviously excited for tonight's episode. I can't wait to see it. Me too. I um, can't wait to see Station. What are your plans for hiatus? Anything exciting that you got going on or just chilling and sunbathing on that towel? Well, definitely that. Um, definitely like setting up my house as, as I've texted you. And yeah. then um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to meet my brother and his family in Yellowstone at some point this summer because they live in Chicago. And so that's like the halfway point and we're going to, they're going camping. And so I'm yeah. going to meet them and go camping with them. Have you ever been? I've never been. You're going to yeah. I'm very excited. And I love camping, so that'll be fun. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh my god, I go all the time. I used to, before I moved to New York, like before Grays, I would always have firewood in my trunk with my tent, and I would go camping like, uh, like at least once a month. I, uh, I love that. I love that you yeah. always had firewood on hand. Not a tent, not a blanket, firewood. Firewood. It's important. It is the essential. Like, you need to, you need to stay warm. Um... What was I going to say? We have to do, we always talk about this, but we have to eventually do our Joshua Tree camping trip. Oh my God. I would love that. We've talked about it now for two seasons. You, me, Barry, and JC have always talked about it and we still have not done it. Well, we got to make it happen then. Okay. I just, we, JC and I just went to Palm Springs for my birthday, which was last week. What? I know. I turned 30. Can you believe? Wait, this was a big deal? Yes. Yes. So me, her, and my best friend from, like, growing up and, like, elementary school and high school and all that stuff, we all went to oh. Springs and literally did nothing, and it was the best. Which is the best. How does it feel being 30? I love it. I feel like I'm definitely 30. <laughs> <laughs> You've always – I feel like you're, like, an old soul, though. You're at home, like, DIYing everything, like, yeah. completely d domesticated. I'll be, like, I'm going to thrive in my 40s. Like, I'm going to just, like – <laughs> game over <laughs> I love that we'll have to celebrate so we get to see each other um, 30 and do a little camping trip but yes oh, I'm so excited we have also, to someone just said you really look 22 it's like I'm like Jason George you can never yeah. tell <laughs> damn you I was also in an episode of Friends <laughs> and we never knew you were a baby on the episode um <laughs> Yeah, it, you damn you men all looking young. Yes. Um, well, I love you to death. I'm so happy we got to do this. I have no other questions for you. I can't wait to see you soon. Um, enjoy Yellowstone. Yeah, thank, thank you for inviting me. This was so wonderful. This was a buzz. I'm coming up with harder questions. Next time. Yeah, that's what you should do. Okay, we should do a live for like next episode or yeah. in a couple episodes and you try to stump me Okay. with hard Gray's questions. Challenge accepted. Okay. I'm going to ask fans, too. I'm going to do a thing. Of fans have to, add, like, submit really hard questions for you. This one. Okay. And here, okay. This is, well, let's, like, really do this. And this will be the point system. If I guess it without a multiple choice, I get two points. And if okay. I guess it with the multiple choice, I get one point. Okay. And then. So. What? Do you want to go against that? Yeah. 
Do you want to like do a competition against her? Yes. Okay. I'll I'll call her after this and I'll be like, would you be willing to do it? And I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys compete. Absolutely. I wouldn't Done. know. I have to know the answers, but she will know. Okay, but I think it, it, it I'll fail if it's like really difficult station nineteen questions. I feel like I can only do really difficult grades because I've been watching it on repeat. <laughs> I'll try, you know what, I'll just stick with Grace because I know the two of you are like diehard Grace fans. Okay, great. I'll, I'll maybe like throw one Station 19 at like a bonus, so like an extra credit point or question, yeah. I mean. Okay. Literally, I'm just going to okay. rewatch every Station 19 episode this week just so that I can learn. <laughs> I, I kind of love that. I do that as well. I'm like, I don't even know what's happening on our own show sometimes, <laughs> let alone what's happening on another show. Um, you're amazing. I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. I'm going to talk to you later and I'm obviously going to see you now next week. So you're going to do a competition. Done. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, everyone have needs a to guess. sign back on next week. What? I said everyone needs to sign back on next week. Yeah. Well, I'll make sure I post about it. So I know the competition is happening. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your, your station 19 day. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. I'll see you yeah. soon. All right. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to leave. I don't. <laughs> oh, wait, the X. I... Got it. <laughs> okay. Just so you know, everyone says, I don't know how to sign off and leave either. I think you just press the button, but please, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah. I'm just going to sign off because that's all I know how to do. Bye, everyone. I'll see you guys in a little bit. There's another special guest coming on.